Hi friends, myself Jairam Singh, working with Intelligence Technologies. I am handling some of the projects which we have uh, deployed on Code Canon. In our most of the apps which we have released on Code Canon has uh, Firebase integration for a storage and we have created also some knowledge bases where you can uh, refer while installing or configuring your app on your system or in mobile although i felt that some of the users are still getting issue while creating or configuration configuration of uh, firebase with android so I'm going to show you the process where the configuration can be done. So I'm going to open Firebase, firebase.google.com and uh, I am already logged in so going to the console. I'm going to create one fresh project like one of our app uh, booked up for you test continue here you can enable google analytics for this project or disable i prefer to select enable and where you want to host the data or oh, no default account for firebox or you can create new one i am choosing default one create the project it will take some time uh, because some processes are already going on behind the scene on google side so it's almost done yeah project has been created successfully on firebase continue now you can see that uh, we are on the dashboard of this project in Firebase. Now as we know that uh, we are going to integrate this Firebase with our mobile apps. So for iOS you will have to create a separate app for Android for se separate app and if we are creating going to integrate the Firebase with web we will have to create different app for web. At the moment, I am going to create the app for the Android. First step is the create uh, restring the app. It's asking for the package name. Remember that this package name should be same package name which is used in our uh, code base, the project code base. So for uh, I have used Chrome dot intelligence hook up for you test the app name I have chosen is hook up for you now it's asking for shaman key in our case uh, authentication is required so I have to generate the shaman key you can get the command from our knowledge base to generate the SA1 key. No need to remember this long command. Open the command prompt. Yeah, it's already clear. I'm just uh, closing this and creating opening new command prompt. Just paste the command. Oh here I can see error it's because uh, I'm running this command on Windows machine so it will not work I have to give the absolute path of this debugger store file I'm going to find this path this PC C drive mine users uh, and this you can see the debugger store here I can see this is the path of this dot and dot folder and uh, I'll have to paste here 
and now run the command. You can see the seven key is generated here. Double click and press enter. It will copy to your clipboard. Go to your Firebase register app screen, paste that seven and register the app. Now you can see the Firebase has generated one JSON file, and this is the JSON file we need to work the Firebase with our app. So I'm going to download this one. I have on already one previous one. I'm deleting that one and uh, saving. This is still asking. I'm saving this one. I've saved that JSON file. And uh, I need to put that JSON file in my project. As you can see, the instructions, instruction given on the Firebase here it's uh, under uh, your application app folder. So if I'm going to my Android Studio, I have to copy that file. So that JSON file and this JSON file is here. I have just copied, go to the project and app folder and uh, paste here. The JSON file is in has been added successfully in our project then next it will generate some code which need to be put under the build.gradle and uh, if you go we have already added this code in our project so no need to copy and paste this one but still if, if I have build.gradle then this code is not there you will have to copy and paste next is it's asking to checking the app has communicated with the firebase server uh, you need to launch the app in emulator or in a physical device then it will work so for now i'm skipping this step and uh, you can see the my app has been created hook up for you app of Rio test has been created it's the name nickname which I have given that that time and uh, from here you can set the authentication the database the storage rules and uh, we'll look into this in another videos so hope you got the idea how you can add Firebase in your Android project. Thank you so much.